<laughs> Welcome to the worst camp I think I've had yet. <sighs> Where to start? Well, at the beginning, I suppose. So, I've recorded about 20 minutes worth of footage, an intro, walking up from Martindale, pitching the tent, talking about all the issues I've had with the tent. Getting in the tent, piss wet through, getting set up inside a one-man tent while it was pissing down outside, my inner not being attached to the fly of the tent. And just as I got set up and was settling in for the night, I have deleted all that footage off the GoPro. So here we are. Tales from the tent, shit vlog one. Unbelievable. Means beef hot pot. If that don't make me feel better, I don't know what will. Got the new jet boil on, the old mini mo, new edition. So see how that goes. But yeah, what a nightmare. What a nightmare. It's just piss poor preparation. So the issues that take that off. The issues I had with my tent was I took the inner off last night and um, I took it off to air and I didn't attach it properly. So when I got to setting up today when it was absolutely sideways raining and freezing cold, um, I had issues, um, which is my own fault. But I will say, as much as I love the Scarp 1 and it is the favourite tent I've ever owned and it's great for nights like this because it's nice and roomy as a one-man tent, is it's not easy to set up, I don't think, in harsh conditions. People say it is, but I don't agree with them. The, the, the sleeve that you put the pole in is, um, it's just too fiddly. The pole gets stuck, then it, it like comes apart inside. It's just not easy to put up in, in harsh conditions, I don't think. So I think they could make some real good mods on this tent if they were to create another version of it. The boiling. Yeah, if they were to make another version of this of the scarf, I think rather than having a sleeve that goes right over the top, I think they could just put the sleeve towards the almost the ends of the pole, like a bit like they do on the Hilleberg solo, and then have clips all the way around it to make it much easier to put up in the in the rain. Um, but yeah, I had a bit of a nightmare, so but I'm all set up now. I'm gonna have some tea, and then it's gonna be a bit of a talky one, isn't it? I can't show you out, so as you can hear, it's absolutely smashing it down out there. Oh, we're boiling. Well, oh, the Minimo is quick. I will give it that. Woo, we're getting steamy in here. Nice one, can't wait for condensation to get all over my tent and freeze tonight. Another good idea, right? Not had minced beef before. Good tip for anyone if you have these adventure food meals, and they are great, is um, this takes 10 minutes this. So put your water in and then use it as a bit of a hand warmer or get it inside your coat as a bit of a makeshift hot water bottle. But that's one thing right up as that. So I can't wait to get stuck into that. It's only gone six o'clock and I've honestly, I've no to do tonight. I've no battery on my phone. Well, I've got 10%, so I've turned that off in case I need it in an emergency. I didn't bring a book. Deleted all my GoPro footage, so I can't even watch that back. I don't know what we're going to do. I think I'm going to talk to you quite a bit tonight. But also, I am going to um, embrace having no phone tonight and use this time for some proper solitude because it's been a while since I've been out um, and it's been a while since I made a video I don't really have the mojo for making um, 
videos really. I went on a camp a few weeks back, started recording and then I just thought, ah, I can't be asked. So I just had that, well, that was at Time at Leaves, that was a nice little camp. Um, but then tonight I was right well up for making a video and filmed everything from Martindale and sat in the car because it was raining and anyway, don't matter does it? It's gone, it's in the past, you can't change the past. Got to learn, learn from it. The thing is I don't know how I'm going to learn because I don't, I don't know how I deleted the footage. But anyway, it is what it is. So I've got a night away up, it's on the piss. So I've got a night in the tent on my own. A bit of self-reflection, no doubt, with a beer. Um, I'm listening to the rain, and hopefully, if it's not too windy, I might try and get an early night tonight and have a good, a good night's kip. So I've not slept well for the past week or so. So yeah, it's just nice to to get out and and stretch my legs and and test some of my warm gear. It's meant to get down to about minus five tonight, so. I'm in the Rabacent 900, Thermarest, Neo X Therm, a great bit of kit. And then I've got myself um, a Thermarest chair as well, I can't think what they're called. But this is good, so I can sit up in the tent. It's a good, good benefit of the scarf one, is you have got some headroom in it as a one-man tent. So when on nights like this, when you are stuck in, at least you can sit up and do something. You can't watch your phone, you haven't got a battery can you? But I don't know, I suppose I can read the back of this. And it's um, also got instructions in Dutch, French and Espanol, so if anyone wants to learn how to say minced beef hot pot in Spanish, I'm your man. Pasta con boeuf picade y verduras. Pronunciation might be a bit off, but you can't fault me on having a go, can you? Right. Let's have some of this. You don't want to see me eating food, do you? It's boring. We've done that all before. You've watched me eat food. You've watched me boil water. Have a brew. What's the point? So this video is one for the purists. Started to go a bit mad. I'm going to draw a little face on these in a minute and start talking to them. Cracked open the beer early, peaked too soon. Still, <clears throat> I'm having fun. <clears throat> you know what, it's nights like this when I really, really admire some of the other filmmakers out there on YouTube. Like the proper ones, not the shite that you get from me, but like Paul Mesner, obviously, like Claire Wildbear, and Matt Adventure is Made, to name a few. And like when they are tent bound or they're filming a night where it's pissing down with rain, they're getting out of the tent and they're putting the camera and they're showing the rain and the conditions and stuff. When it is real commitment to it. So if you go check out their channels, just give them a like, comment, and really appreciate the content they put out because they put so much effort into it. Obviously, you're just going to have to take my word that it's raining. Although I think you pretty much hear it, hear that it is. turned out to be quite a nice night that rain stopped and clouds cleared and stars came out it was lovely just been outside done a bit of a night lapse so if that's turned out all right i'll put it in you might have just seen it depends how i edit it but yeah it's um it's lovely it's dropped cold though so i'm back in the tent now i'm all all wrapped up ready for bed it's only half eight ish so i think i'm gonna try and get my head down and get some kip there's no wind, which is nice. So I hope that stays through the night. I've got my earplugs anyway, if it does. But it's actually turned out to be quite a nice night. And it's been a bit of a, it's been nice not having access to my phone. I've turned it on a couple of times just to check in and whatnot, but it's um, it's been nice just to be up here with my own thoughts and just in my own company. With literally no to do. I'm just sat in tent and had a brew and stuff. It's, it's nice. 
just been nice to get back out really and I don't know when you're up here on your own and there is no to do it's quite nice to have the camera to have, to have a chat so it sounds a bit weird but anyway enough for me bleating on about literally nothing so I'm gonna get some kip and unless anything exciting happens I'll um, see you in the morning fingers crossed for a nice sunrise Good morning. What a good night's sleep. It's just gone quarter past seven, so I've nearly had 11 hours there. I tossed and turned a bit, but that's a pretty good night's kip. Stayed very still overnight. As you can probably hear now, the wind's picked up a little bit. But we're about 25 minutes till sunrise, so I'm gonna get a brew on. Then I'll watch that sunrise. Oh, yeah, the wind has picked up. Uh, I'm going to get down to the car early, so I've got a few plans today. I'm going to meet a couple of mates for dinner. Um, so yeah, let's get some... Let's get a pot of tea on. And I'll, um, I'll come back to you when I'm packing up. Right, that's me all sorted, back in the car, all packed up. I've just had some breakfast because I didn't cook it up on the hill because the wind came in. Um, packing down was an absolute joke as was setting up last night. All comes to, I've learned a couple of things on this vlog. Piss poor preparation leads to piss poor performance. Um, and that's exactly what's happened. As I mentioned, I took the inner out of my tent the night before um, to air it out. I didn't put it in back in correctly. So last night when I was setting up and I got caught out in the weather, um, I couldn't set up my tent effectively. So I was wet, I was cold when I got in the tent. That led to me not putting things where I normally put them, not setting up my tent and my camp correctly. And then this morning when I was packing down, I couldn't have access to the things that I needed when I needed them. Uh, and I got caught out in the wind and my hands were freezing again. Um, and yeah, the Scarp one is a, it's a phenomenal shelter, but setting up and taking down when the, wind, when the weather's cold and your hands are cold, it's really not an easy shelter to put up. So I would definitely consider that if you're buying it. I would highly recommend it, but it's one that I think probably, maybe I just need a few more goes at getting it set up and and practiced in the hills but it's it's not the simplest shelter to put up um so yeah so if you've watched this far thanks for watching as i mentioned i deleted pretty much the bulk of the footage yesterday when i had good light um and the walk up to from martindale to steel knots but anyway it is what it is isn't it you can't dwell on the past so if it's the first time you've watched one of my videos um go check out some of the other ones the quality is i'd like to think is a bit better and you get a bit more for your bang for your buck um Anyone who's subscribed to the channel recently, thank you very much. And as to all those people who've subscribed to my channel in the past, again, thank you very much and thanks for coming back and watching. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel and give the video a thumbs up. It really helps me out on the channel and leave a comment in the uh, comment section. And I will try and get a few more videos. Um, I will try and get a few more videos filmed and some uh, things uploaded to the channel because I know it's been a bit sparse of late. I've just been so busy uh, with life, with work, and everything that goes with that but um hope you're all well hope your noggins are all well if they're not talk 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 don't don't hold it in especially you fellas and um thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one